Welcome to day four of Glasgow's 12 Days of Christmas. Today, we're going to create some dancing penguins in your playground. We're going to do this using the Scratch Junior app. Tap on Scratch Junior and then choose a new project. The first thing we're going to do is get rid of our Scratch cat. So I'm going to hold down on their icon and press the red cross. Now, we want to add our playground, which is where our penguins are going to be dancing. I'm going to press the background icon and I'm going to press paint at the top to create a blank background. I'm going to add a little frame and then press my photo button and tap and I'm going to flip my camera around. I'm looking at my playground and I've got a nice atmospheric misty playground and I'm going to snap my picture here. So this is now going to be the playground that I'm working with. If I wanted to, I could add some colours. I might want to add um, some snow in the ground. I might add in a little Christmas tree. Um, I could do that using the triangle. Draw a little Christmas tree in there for some background. And then I'm ready to add my penguins. I'm going to use the plus sign over on the left hand side and I'm going to look for a penguin. Right down the bottom, here's our first penguin and I'm going to move it down here. For our characters to move, they need a start instruction, which is the yellow blocks. For my programme today, I'm going to do everything on the green flag, but you might experiment with some of the other yellow blocks. This first penguin is going to move to the right and I can tap on the number to change how far. So it's going to move three steps to the right it's going to do a little jump, which is this block here, and then it's going to move three steps back so it goes back to where it started. I'm going to use an end block. The plain red end block stops the program once it's finished, but this repeat block means that this pattern will keep happening over and over and over again, like so. I'm going to add a second penguin and move it to where I'd like it to start. Again, I'm going to start it on the green flag and this time, this penguin, I'm going to use my appearance blocks, the purple blocks. I'm going to use the grow bigger block, I'm going to use the speech bubble block and I'm going to use the grow smaller block and I'm going to change my speech bubble to say Merry Christmas. So this penguin, when I press the green button, will grow a little bit bigger, will say Merry Christmas, then grow a little bit smaller. I'm going to add one more penguin to my dancing penguin display in my playground. Again, I'm going to start on the green flag. This time, I'm going to use a movement again. I'm going to use the rotate and I'm going to change the number to 12. That's the number of times you need for a full 360 degree rotation. Then I'm going to make a sound. Now I'm going to use the pop sound, but if you press the microphone, you could record your penguin singing or saying a Christmas message. And then I'm going to have my penguin rotate back the way it came. And again, I'm going to repeat this. So I've got three penguins with three different programs that all start on the green flag, like this. For an extra challenge, you can add some falling snowflakes. To do this, add a character, choose the blank slide and the paintbrush, add a white circle, colour in the centre with the paint tin and click the tick. You can now animate a path for your snowflake so that it's going to fall through your playground. If I repeat the block, when a snowflake reaches the bottom of the screen, it will reappear at the top of the screen, like this. Have fun creating your dancing penguins in your playground. We can't wait to see what you create.